Name Captain Scott's ship on the 1910 <sighs> Chris. Is the uh, Terranova. It's correct, Terranova. In a standard pack of playing cards, which is the only king not sporting a moustache? Steve. I got the hearts. King of hearts is correct. <laughs> I knew I would die. <laughs> In which Hitchcock film did Kerry Grant play the character Roger Steve? North by Northwest. North by Northwest. Who was the first king of the House of Plantagenet? Henry II. Is correct. Which northwest town or city featured in the title of the poet Byron? Steve. Carlisle. Incorrect. Oh, I know what it is. Chris. Chris. Liverpool. Incorrect. Martin. I don't know. Can I have another guess? It's going to be Preston, isn't it? No. No? Town or city? Mm hmm. Charlie? No. Go on. Rochdale. Oh! That's, my, that's the Rochdale question. He was a sixth Lord Baron of Rochdale. Shut up, sorry. What was the first name of Field Marshal Kitchener? Steve. <laughs> Irwin. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Martin, you um, pressed me. Oh, Kitchener. Incorrect. Chris. Alfred. Incorrect, it's a ratio. Oh, a ratio. Yeah. Kitchener. And which country hosted the Football World Cup in 1962? That's Chris. Chile. Chile is correct. Well done, Chris. What was launched on the 7th of October 1986 with the slogan, It is, are you? Steve. The nationalisation of British Telecom BT. Incorrect. No. Martin, Steve, Chris. Gas. Yes. The Independent Newspaper. Ah, oh, of course it is. Are you? Yeah. In which film do Rater Hayworth, Marilyn Monroe, and Raquel Welch play a small but very significant role? And that's Steve, just. And God made women? Incorrect. Chris? Shawshank Redemption. Good answer, and correct. Oh, a great answer to a great film. The uh, posters on the cell wall of Andy Dufresne. <sighs> Good answer. Oh, I wanted to forget that one. Which supermarket chain sells a range of clothing under the brand name Steve? George Asda. Asda. It's correct. Which British battle took place 500 years and 20 days ago to this very day? Steve. Master and Law. Incorrect. Chris. Flodden. Is correct. Flodden Field. Is correct. Answer. 13, yeah. As of 3rd of May 2013, who is leader of the UK Green Party? And that's Steve. Just. Caroline Lucas. Incorrect. Chris? Oh. Yeah, I was going to say Caroline Lucas and she changed and she gets yeah. another woman. <laughs> her name is... No. No answer, that leaves Martin for a guess? No, I would also say It's name. Natalie Bennett, the Australian. Yeah. Natalie Bennett. Let's just tap that out. Who was manager of Everton FC when they won the FA Cup final in 1995? Steve? Howard... Goodwinson. He's incorrect. Correct. Joe Royal. He's correct, but I have Martin Press. Before you have Steve on 5.65 seconds, and give me the wrong answer, then Martin 6.03. What were you going to say? What were you going no. to say, to be honest? Yeah. No? Okay. You finished the question, so it's a good point for you at 15. Okay, yeah. In children's TV, what are the first name of the Chuckle Brothers? And that's Steve. Hey, to you, to me. Incorrect. Martin? Barry and. I can't remember the one name of the isn't Belly. Pardon? One is... Mm, Go on. Chris? No, no. Barry and Paul. Barry and Barry. Lucky. Sorry, kids. 
The government has recently announced a vaccination programme starting in September 2013 to immunise 70 year olds against what? Chris. Flu? Incorrect. Steve? Death. <laughs> Incorrect. Free guess, Martin? Um, it's not. But... It's not. It's, we had it earlier on. Got shingles. Shingles. Herpes yeah. zoster. Oh, I should oh, have remember that. Yeah, that, well, that, 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 yeah, yeah, that, that might come up later. Yeah. On which head of state did Peter Tatchell make a citizen's arrest in London in 1999, Steve? Robert Mugabe. Robert Mugabe didn't he? Again. He always crops up, doesn't he? He bag up. By what name was the Football League Cup known between 1998 and 2003? Steve, just. Whitbread? Incorrect. Martin? The Burlington Cup. It's correct. Ah, uh, you know where it's coming from. Well done. The BBC Breakfast Time became Britain's first national TV breakfast show in 1983. Who was its sports presenter? Steve. Oh, uh, I guess it's Frank Roth. Bob. Incorrect. Chris. David Oink. Very good answer, correct. Against which group of people was the Cat and Mouse Act of 1913 directed? Steve. Suffragettes. The suffragettes is correct. Quite comfortable ones. Uh, Birmingham Brummies and Lakeside Hammers compete in which sport in Britain? Steve. Speedway. Speedway is correct. That came from last week, didn't it? Last moment, do you remember? Portobello is a seaside suburb of which British city? Steve. Brighton. Incorrect. Martin. London. Incorrect. Not Chris. I know what it is now, I think. Liverpool? Incorrect. Is it Portsmouth? Edinburgh. 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 Okay. 1748. 1748. The Mount relatives of the royal family changed their surname from what? Chris. Battenberg. Is correct. Battenberg. In the film of the same name, which actor shot Liberty Valance? Steve. Um, Jim Pitney. Incorrect. Chris. John Wayne. John Wayne is correct. Oh. Uh, sorry, I'm 21. You need, you're two away. Two, I'm two away. For which company stroke product has Hussein Bolt recently from... That's Chris, just... Virgin Media. Virgin, Virgin Media is correct, yeah. Which British monarch reigned for 56 years? Steve. George III. Incorrect. Coming to the throne in 1216. Chris. Henry III. Is correct, and that's a win for Chris. Well done. Was that worth the trip? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it would have been worth the trip. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Tell her, tw uh, you have won £20 and a three pint handicap. And with this three pint handicap, you just said bloody one today. <laughs> okay. Thank Thank great set of questions, lads. Thank you. And that's another one under the belt. Two more to go. If you're watching this, click on Faster Mind 2013 at Pontefract Rugby Club. I mean, come and do light speed quiz by all means. But uh, uh, Chris has come all the way from Oxfordshire. If anyone's watching and would like you know, to do this with the friends, uh, I'd be very inclined if somebody said, oh yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, there's half a dozen of us, ten of us would like to do this, to come down to, to wherever, because I would like to explore these places. Rochdale's a fine town. We only had two questions about it today, and we failed miserably on both of them, I think, didn't we? We've <laughs> <laughs> got them. Uh, but uh, what's another one? Another one under the belt, and a great win for Chris. And, Closer than I thought it was going to be, actually. Uh, you know, we, we all got in there, didn't we? So, uh, good game? Good game. Ta-da. Thanks, Matt. No problem.